you guys want to see how huge this shirt is. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V and today I am doing a lasting impression review. I feel like it's been forever. I feel like I say that every time I film a lasting impression review, but so many new products just haven't like really jumped out at me lately. I don't really want to like review a ton of holiday sets with you guys. So I got this in my Ipsy bag and it sounded really interesting and I know it's not brand new. I know it's been out for a little while, but I wanted to test it out with you guys today because it says it's sweat proof. And I am all about something that is waterproof, sweat proof, everything life proof. So this is the Tarte Cosmetics Lifted Sweat Proof Mascara. It retails for $23. I didn't see it at Ulta, but I did see it at Sephora. So let's go ahead and read what Sephora has to say about this. It is a sporty sweat proof brown black mascara that volumizes and treats lashes. What it does, this waterproof mascara gives you an instant lift and volumizing boost while while you sweat and swim without smudging wait while you swim without smudging wow um, even after the toughest workout your lashes will still look lengthened and flirty for an effortless no makeup look that lasts from gym to brunch the waterproof formula is infused with replenishing Amazonian clay antioxidant vitamin C and smoothing emollient waxes to help naturally soften and protect while promoting healthy voluminous lashes it is formulated without parabens and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Talolates, I think is what people say. Flutolates. Oh God. Let's not start. Let's not start, you guys. Just like, just looking at Peep, wishing she would love me. <laughs> what else you need to know? This product is vegan, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, and safe for contact lens wears. I don't wear contact lenses, but we are going to test out the wear of this mascara today. I'm excited about it. So let's zoom in on my face and get to putting this on. So Sephora does have how to wear instructions. It says wedge the wand at the base of the lashes and pull through to the tip in a zigzag motion to reach every lash. You can easily layer the lights, camera lashes, four in one mascara or Tartus lash paint mascara on top to take your look from day to evening. Interesting. So I personally am not a fan of either one of those other mascaras, so I would not do that but hopefully this one will be good for me today so here is the packaging of the little mini that I got for you guys it's really really cute I'm interested to see how dark this is because it said it is brown black okay I can definitely see brown I'm excited you can see it most when you like see the wand compared to like the product on the wand yeah you can see it's definitely a brownish black it looks like the lights camera lashes brush like the same kind of bristles and everything so let's get to putting this on my lashes I'm excited what is this what is this randomness oh okay I've just got one like rogue bristle can you guys see that like I'm not gonna do what everyone else is doing. So I currently have nothing on my lashes today. I just did a very matte eye look so that we'd be able to see if this smudges on me throughout the day and I will be working out. So we are gonna test it through that as well. So let's just go ahead and do what it says. Wiggle it at the base in a zigzaggy pattern. This is usually how I apply. Ow, ow. Don't talk and mascara. This is usually how I apply my mascara anyways. I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Wow, I do feel like that gave me a lot of length. Sorry if I wasn't in frame for that entire thing. Um, I do feel like it gave me a ton of length. There is some below me just because I immediately hit myself in the eye with it. But that's not really this thing's fault. I just uh, was talking while I was doing it. But I do think it gave me a ton of length. Not a whole lot of volume, but maybe with the second coat, we'll get a little bit more of that. But I'm going to let this dry and then go in on my bottom lashes. Comes off pretty easily with a q-tip which is good once you let it dry that's usually what I do I let it dry so that it's easier to just kind of flick off with a q-tip okay now let's go in on these bottom lashes which got a little bit of mascara on them already but I'll just go ahead and go in now I like the color of this it's a nice like basically black but has a hint of brown in it I like a good brown mascara sometimes I feel like it looks really like natural and pretty and just a little different just from the basic black all the time 
really helped my bottom lashes. I mean, look at that. They're much longer. If you can look at the side by side with nothing on and then this on, I like the way that it looks actually. I just really hope this doesn't smudge on me throughout the day because I'm gonna be so sad. So yeah, there is the difference there with the one side done, one side not. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side real quick and then I'll do a second coat on this side because that's how I roll. Alrighty, other eye is done and looks very similar to my right eye here. So it turned out good on both sides. So I'm gonna go in on my right eye and do a second coat. can see it building a little bit there. Not a ton, but I can see it building a little bit of volume at the base, which is good. I always, I feel like volume, like length is important to me, but I feel like volume is like a little bit more important to me than length. Like obviously I want them to be long, but I like when they're like really nice. Like that looks really pretty and fanned out. I think that looks really, really good. And I'm not gonna go in for two coats on the bottom lashes because they look really good actually, but that looks really, really good. And I can tell a difference. You can see more volume at the base on this side. And this brush really fans them out pretty. Like it looks good, I like it. So there is the difference between two coats and one coat. I can definitely see a difference, especially volume wise. But let me go ahead and go in with another coat on my left eye. I do feel like this one is really easy to get into the inner corners. Um, just the way that the brush is shaped, it works really well. I will say the rogue bristle is throwing me off a little bit just because mine is a little bit defected, but that's okay. I do feel like it gets all the way in there, which is really nice. All right, so mascara is fully on. This is what it's looking like, if you guys can see here. There we go. And the color is really nice. It's a little bit more soft than just a black black on your eyes, but I really like it. So let's zoom back out. All right, so right now it is 11.10, about to be 11.11, but I am just going to go throughout my day, see if uh, this smudges or anything on me because it says that you can even swim with this and it will not smudge. So if I see any smudging at all, I'm gonna be slightly disappointed in this product, but I'm just gonna go throughout my day and I will check in with you guys when I feel necessary. So I will see you guys in a couple of hours. twitching because she twitches in her sleep so much don't you come here hey <laughs> she's like where am i Faye brought me home some jimmy john's for lunch that's cuz I rock. All right, you guys, it is currently 2.27, so about three hours after I first applied it, and I do see a little bit of flaking on my under eye area. Can you guys see that there? I definitely see quite a bit of flaking. Not as much on this side, but it is there and that is noteworthy. So I will be back with you guys in another couple of hours. Other than that, I haven't seen any smudging or anything. So other than that, we've been pretty good, but I will check back with you guys later. We're getting this that comes in the new lid. The new lids on these candles are so pretty. They're only $15 right now. Probably not by the time I post this video though. But look at that one. Ooh, look at that sparkle. <laughs> it's very uneven. No, I have not yet put away this laundry and yes, please don't judge me <laughs> right now. It is currently 8.51 in the evening so I'm going on just about 10 hours or so, nine and a half. 
yeah, something like that of wear on this lovely mascara here. So let's zoom in on my face and see what's going on. Sorry for the like very shortage of vloggy bits today. I was working today, so didn't have a whole lot to show you guys, but I tried my best. So let's zoom in. So I did not end up working out. I was supposed to, but I ended up having to work late. So I wasn't able to have time to work out today. But as you can see already, just by looking at it, we have got some smudging in the corners. I didn't wear any eyeliner today and we have got some dark brown smudging on the outer corners of my eye. Now I don't see any smudging on my lid, which is great. And I don't see any smudging on my lower lash line, which is great. But in the outer corners of my eye, there is some smudging just from my eyes being my eyes. They're not like excessively watery. They're, I haven't had any issues with allergies today, but there was a tiny bit of smudging. Other than that, this wore really well. So that is what it looks like up close. Let's zoom back out. So this did say that it was swim proof, right? got some water I'm not gonna like dunk my face in it or anything but I thought that I would put a little bit of water on my hand finger something like that tap it on the lashes just see what happens here because this says it is waterproof uh, you already see that yeah I'm gonna go with a nope on that one because if I was underwater that would be all over my face because <laughs> uh, yeah that's that's definitely having a reaction I wouldn't say this was sweat proof or waterproof personally but that's just my experience I would use it again just because it didn't smudge on me the only thing was in the outer corners and that tends to happen to me with a lot of different products not with all mascaras personally usually it happens to me with eyeliner not actually really with mascara so that doesn't usually happen to me with that type of product but I would use it again just because it's a nice like little travel size mascara and it made my lashes look really nice so I like that aspect of it and it didn't smudge on my lower lash line or on my eyelid so I liked that part of it so I would say out of like one out of ten I would probably give this one like a 6.5 because it makes my lashes look nice and it doesn't smudge all the like a lot but it does smudge on my outer corners and it is not waterproof as I just tested this is literally just water like <laughs> straight up water and it was smudging all over the place so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to show some love to the like button right down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my muse family and I love you guys so so much thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video bye guys